All right, straight to business. You know, the season of anomie continues without let as devil may care robbers struck in the hot afternoon at Idiakwe, that's in Ibadan, the Oyo state capital. Now, the robbers, dressed in police uniform and driving an unmarked vehicle, shot sporadically when the bullion van, which just left a commercial bank, got to a traffic light. Now, three policemen and four uh, civilians lost their lives in the attack. To think that the attempted robbery took place close to a police command headquarters, command headquarters is spine chilling. The robbery attempt failed, but left so many questions unanswered. There is no robbery so terrible, Jide, as the one committed by those who think they are right in committing it. <laughs> Uh, some of them will plead joblessness and all that. But we have a package we want to share with you. Uh, the correspondent is Olaide Oyewale in Ibadan. Let's join him. There was pandemonium around the Jack area of Ibadan after some unknown gunmen attacked a moving bullion van and carted away some money. Eyewitnesses say the men who were all marked and about eight in number attacked the policemen and started engaging in a gun duel with them. They said some policemen were killed while the money contained in the van was carted away. They are marks. They are marks. They are some they, with a black uh, marks. And we saw these people coming from this direction. I don't know where they are going with this uh, bullet farm. Immediately we just saw that there is fire and they are raising the fire, they are shooting each other. Well, they keep some policemen when they catered the morning away. Yeah, I was on the bike also when I saw them. I have to park my own bike somewhere. Then the bike man that was going on his way, he wanted to overtake the, the bullet fans. So at the process, then they shot him. But the police said nobody died in the incident. Nobody was killed as of now. I can't really say anything now because I'm still trying to assess the situation to find out what actually happened. But I can tell you for sure that two of my men were shot on the leg. So in, let's just uh, check what went on. Let's investigate. She confirmed that the gang took away one of its members who was shot and killed. One of the policemen in the, uh, in the back of vehicle, escorting the bullion van, shot dead one of the armed robbers. And funny enough, the armed robbers took away the cops of the killed one. The police commissioner assured Nigerians that investigations are on and the perpetrators of the nefarious act would be brought to book. Olaidio Yewali, TVC News, Ibado. Uh, pictures, we are told, tell stories. And the picture we just saw is not the best. Uh, immediately after the war, we had things like this, you know. So it appears nothing has changed in a supposed peace time. What has changed, in my view, is the the, the, um, the, 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 the yes the the resolve of these robbers to operate in an urban center. Uh, bank robberies these days usually take place in rural areas and mm. semi-urban centers. You hardly hear of bank robbery in the heart of Lagos, for example. And when they tried it in Abuja, mm. they also they didn't uh, they couldn't get away. Look at the place where this robbery uh, took place. It's always jam packed with traffic. Mm. How are you going to be able to escape from this scene? What they like is to rob and then achieve a quick getaway. You can't you can't uh, succeed in doing that in a place busting at the seams with traffic. It's yeah. just not going to happen. And that's it, why you see it, them going to... populated environment. That area especially. 
Mm. You know, there are some parts of Baron that may not be, uh, may not witness dense traffic yeah. as that area. You know, maybe they could get away easily, you know, on the outskirts of the city, mm -hmm. you know. But we've seen them go to rural communities in Ekiti, rural communities in Edo State, rural communities in, uh, in Ondo. And a lot of the banks have even shut their outlets yeah. in the rural areas, yeah. you know, because of rampant robbery in those places. But to attempt to snatch a bullion van in the heart of a bustling uh, state capital. And touching sun. Yeah, not good. Why, why are you going to get out ah. of that traffic? That's what we saw. They just couldn't get away. And even their routes, their most likely routes of escape, there is uh, an area police uh, division over there. So, mm. yeah. you, they, yeah. they, 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 this robbery, they, are, they attempt to hijack the William Van and, uh, and uh, take it away, clearly failed because the police responded. And of course, given the uh, chaotic nature of traffic mm. in, in, in that area. Bola, but you see, uh, when we have conflicting reports, uh, uh, people, uh, people were killed, people were not killed. It does not help our job. Yes, sure. You know, like as newsmen, we should be able to get facts, not only facts, the facts that reflect or reflected the situation at hand. But, uh, uh, but we uh, couldn't I'm do that. To believe our man. Okay? Because, to like, what really happened? From what I heard, hmm. they said those people, they attacked the bullion fan after killing the policemen and making, you know, people around to scamper. Yeah. And then they forced open the door and they made their way with the money. That was what we had mm -hmm. yesterday. But now, another dimension is saying that, look, yeah. nothing like that, that they could not, you know, uh, cut the, away the, the, the money. was very categorical. Uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. And aside that, we learned that about three policemen were, were shot. Yes. We yeah. also heard that about four, four civilians, civilians were killed. Mm -hmm. But saying that nobody was killed, how do we now... You know, Welcome. marry How everything together. Yeah. But what we now know is this. Okay, robbery and violent robbery can happen anywhere in Nigeria now. Anytime. Whether successful or not successful. Then the issue is this. Nigerians should be very careful. When you see policemen eh, going with bullion fan, be very careful. Don't go near them because they are going to be on edge and they will be massless. Mm. They will be matchless with anybody that attempts <laughs> eh, to go near them because me, now they are on edge too. Yeah, did it quickly makes me begin to dream up uh, uh, firing, firing them, you know, capital punishment and all that. Uh, oh, of course. They say the debate is interminable. We'll keep debating it, right well, or wrong. Well, the, our laws have not changed. Mm. Um, if we take a life, then you, you the must. law says you must be killed uh, yeah. for taking a life. What has changed is okay. This is a civilian regime. They no longer kill them uh, by tying them to the stakes and um, mm. killed by firing squad and all that. But I wish we even had that. Maybe there will be a lot of uh, deterrence because mm. these guys now uh, bandits and the they are operating like no one can stop them. Yeah. Look out! Look at the massive holes. Yeah. That uh, massive bullet holes. Tell, tells you the weapons you know? they use. Yes. And because they were also firing at close quarters. Hmm. So it would drill uh, a big hole. It's, yeah. it's terrible. In the heart of town. I mean, it's, it's really scary. I think in Ibad, this had not happened in Ibad for more than 10 years. Yes. This kind of attack yeah, on, attack, the, uh, yeah. on the bullion van and all the uh, bank robbery. You know, so. So the message is clear. It can happen anytime, anywhere. Yes. Be prepared. Like yes, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's <laughs> not rule out any possibility. We've seen them do it in rural areas, but they are now saying that they can do it in the urban center. So we have to more, be ready. More, more like saying, we deal, we still deal, no forget also. <laughs> <laughs> That's a serious one. <laughs> okay.